All right, time for an update. Uh, we've had the spider now for about three months. My wife's put on uh, 6,782 miles in those three months. We have had it on a couple of trips. We took one trip up to New England, uh, went up to the top of Vermont with it from Virginia, and we just got back from a nearly 4,000 mile ride going to Nova Scotia from Virginia. So I feel like she's She's really had a chance to get to know the spider and know what she likes and she knows what she doesn't like about it and there are things to report on both. Overall, she is really happy with the spider. Feels like it was a good move for her. Uh, it's not that she doesn't like riding motorcycles. She does, but she feels that uh, this was just a really positive change for her. She's much more likely to keep up with me in twisty roads, which I find interesting on a on a, a luxury touring bike that she is actually faster on this bike than she was on any motorcycle she's ever ridden. She attributes that to being not as concerned as she was before about when I'd ride in front of her and with the Bluetooth I'd call out gravel in the road or some kind of hazard in the road. That would really cause her to slow down a lot on a motorcycle and it it's not as necessary on this she feels to slow down as much as she did on a motorcycle. I've, I've had the opportunity to lead a lot of group rides and I've, I've ridden with a lot of people and uh, my wife has always been in the, the top tier of people who can who can master a motorcycle. So for her to be even faster on this, that, that kind of amazes me. She's extremely pleased with the comfort of it. She's extremely pleased with the stability of it. She had ridden the earlier Spider, the one we had 12 years ago, much more than I did. And so for her making the transition to this was, I'll say almost instantaneous. She, she really took to it right away. Uh, now that we've had two trips, she's been able to ride it really in all phases. Unfortunately, the trip up uh, Nova Scotia, we had some super rough roads at times. I did a fair amount of dirt road riding, which I never intended to do. It just kind of worked out that way, that we had to end up doing dirt road. And I was wondering how that would do. There's something that makes me uneasy about a belt drive uh, bike on, on a dirt road, but she took it slow, she took it easy and had no problems with it. We did uh, some 500 mile days on the trip up to Nova Scotia and her comfort level was good. Normally after a big ride, my wife is done. We get back from a 4,000, 5,000 mile trip and my wife parks the bike and she doesn't think about it until next spring. We got back from Nova Scotia a week ago and she's talking about going out riding with me tomorrow. Uh, that's unheard of, that never happens. Uh, and as she was saying, as I was leaving today, it's because she loves this bike so much, which, hey, that's absolutely wonderful, glad. Uh, really happy that she feels that way about the bike. Some of the things my wife finds negative about the bike, she absolutely hates the cruise control on this thing. She can't roll off the throttle the way you do on a motorcycle to turn off the cruise control. The idea that you have to actually push a button or hit a brake or shift or do something rather than just rolling off the throttle has, has been something that's really turned her negative about the cruise control on this. On a trip like that, obviously she had to use cruise control. She had to try to make friends with it. Another thing my wife is finding uh, challenging about it is I ride a, a KTM Super Adventure S. I've always ridden adventure bikes. It's what I ride. She's on this big luxury touring machine and, and I'm hearing it quite a bit. I don't feel like we belong together kind of look like the odd couple with this adventure bike and this luxury touring bike. She's constantly telling me I need to buy a, add a gold wing to the collection, which I'm not opposed to doing. It really came to a, a head when we took the cat from Bar Harbor, we took the cat ferry over to Nova Scotia. And there was a big lineup at Customs and I was in the front of one line and she was in the front of another line. And behind me was a woman on a, I think she was on a Versus, a Kawasaki Versus. And they waved me through customs and then they wanted to make sure my traveling partner could go with me. So they went to the woman on the Versus and said, are you with him? And she pointed over to my wife on the Spider and said, no, she is. And that just 
kind of annoying my wife that it doesn't look like we belong together. So that's, that's an appearances thing, but it matters to her. Willingness to ride has been a big change with the spider and my wife. Not just because it's new, that's, that's, that's something you always expect with a new bike. But where she rides makes a huge impression on me. Mount Washington is one of my favorite roads to ride. I, I love it. As a matter of fact, on the Nova Scotia trip, we did it going to Nova Scotia and we did it coming home. And going to Nova Scotia, it was it was very cloudy that day. We put the GoPro on the front of my wife's spider, so so these shots here were taken from the front of the spider. It's kind of low, and, and quite honestly, there's so much fog and all that, to, couldn't see much. But normally what happens when we ride Mount Washington is she'll go to the top with me once, and then we get 80% of the way down, and she'll say, I'll park here and you can go do it a couple more times because she just knows how much I love that road. Well, this time she actually turned around and went back up. Not only was it a day where you could barely see anything, which would normally be something that uh, she's uncomfortable with. You could barely see anything and she went up Mount Washington multiple times with me just because I love the road. In the end, it wasn't that great to see it. I mean, the great thing about Mount Washington is seeing the, the drop off, seeing where you are and riding it in the clouds or in the fog. Not that great, but just the idea my wife did that is a, is a testament to her comfort on the spider. And again, as we were coming home from Nova Scotia, we made it a point since it had been so foggy and I love that road so much that if it's a good day, we'll do it again. And she offered to, to not even do it with me, you know, just because it's so expensive to do it. And I'm like, no, let's, let's do it. So, so we went and we rode it on a beautiful day. Unfortunately, it was Labor Day and there was so much traffic, everybody else had the idea. So it was a very slow ride. It was very much getting stuck behind. And I'm glad I didn't have a microphone on the camera that day because I, I had a few choice words about the, the pace we were going. But again, my wife went down or she went up to it again at the top. She came down and then that was enough for her that day, but she had no hesitation. If she wanted to do it, she could have done it. We were coming down Mount Washington and somebody with another KTM cut in between her and me. They had no idea that she was actually with the KTM up front. So that's something that she doesn't like. And so I constantly hear, you need to buy a gold link, which I can tell you there are worse problems in life than having your wife tell you, you need to buy another motorcycle. Yes, dear, I understand, dear. I will do it as soon as possible. So when my KTM was actually having mechanical problems and we were stuck in Halifax, Nova Scotia for an extra day, we decided let's make use of the time that we're here. So we decided to go out to Peggy's Cove while my bike was at a shop and we rode two up and we never ride two up. I mean, it just doesn't happen. Uh, I got on the back and yes, I was the passenger. Uh, there are people who find that tremendously funny to them. Uh, I'm fine with it, it's her bike. Before we bought the Spider, she was part of her way of justifying a spider as well. You could get the spider if you had to go to the store. You could get on the spider, go to the store. She's saying it in terms of I could do that. Now that she has it, she loves it so much, she doesn't want me anywhere near it. It's something that's very clear. It's not my toy, it's her toy and leave it alone. Uh, she's very good at keeping her things clean. I ride adventure bikes. I think they look better dirty, so so I'm perfectly happy with a dirty bike. She puts a lot of effort into keeping it clean and the last thing she wants to do is let me dirty it up. That's one of the reasons it takes me so long to make a video is she doesn't want me to ride her spider. I understand. She's put the clear wrap on the trunk because she already got a paint chip out of that. And, uh, she just, she, she likes her stuff clean. She likes it beautiful and she likes me not on it. <laughs> so, so I'll post up whenever I can, whenever I get a chance and since since I'm taking it to the dealership to get the the lid on the top case fixed, I figured this is my chance to make a video about it, update everybody on how it's going. We took a number of ferries on the Nova Scotia ride. We took the cat from Bar Harbor over to Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. And we also took the ferry over to uh, Prince Edward Island. 
and both times she said how much she appreciated the spider on that because both of those it was like a metal great bridge uh, a lot of the way trying to get in and it was it was metal and and you know could be perceived as, as slippery uh getting into the cat and that that's something that i know she would have been uncomfortable with and she told me and she said she just felt so at ease doing it with the spider it was never any concern for her i've got a little bit of video here getting off from the the ferry onto prince edward island and uh, there was a little bit of difference in getting off the boat and getting on to, to land and, and all and and again she pointed out she wouldn't have liked that on a motorcycle she didn't have any problem at all with it on the spider so once again she just feels like the spider is the right move for her she sounds really happy back there it's it's something that there's, there's a joy to her riding that i haven't i haven't detected in a long time and and it's here with the spider and i'm, I'm really grateful to have that joy back here's a side benefit you don't think about going from a motorcycle to a spider the spider will always trigger a red light as a motorcyclist you know that doesn't always happen so wife's really enjoying the spider it's been a great purchase as we learn more if there's anything to tell you i will certainly post more out here but thanks for tuning in take care ride safe